Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to talk about associative containers in C++, but I'm going to ignore multi-sets and multi-maps, so I'm only going to talk about sets and maps right now to keep it simple. Um, basically, what we're most familiar with are called uh, sequential containers, because their elements follow a sequence from 0 to whatever, and they go up by 1. So if you have 10 elements in your vector, it, your element 1 for your vector would actually be 0, and it would be numbered up to 9. This is not the case for associative containers like sets and maps. What you put into your set is called the key, and the key is your element. There is no numbers. It's not numbered in order it's whatever you put in is your element number. There's no element numbers, it's your keys. You're going by keys now. So, say you have a set and you just throw in the numbers 3, 1, 5. Um, your set will automatically put it in order, so it would be 1, 3, 5. And instead of saying element 0, it's 1. Your key is 1, and 3, and 5. So that is set. One thing about a set, however, is you can't have duplicates for the exact same reason that you can't have two element zeros in your vector. It's just bad, don't do that. So maps are awesome. I like maps because they're just like sets in the way that you have to instead of calling an element number there's no element numbers they're, they're keys like sets your keys can be anything you want any type of data they don't have to be numbers they can be words um, but the thing about maps is they have two different sections for each key there is an association for example, I like to use a phone book because in a phone book there's a person's name and then their phone number. So their phone number is the association and their name is the key. Because everybody has a phone number. You can sort a map, but it doesn't do it automatically like a set does. When you want to find when you want to like print out a map to a console, for example, you would have to use an iterator. If you want to get to both parts, uh, for example, let's call it an iterator it, that's like simple. If you want to get to your key, you would be it, and then you do a little arrow thing. Second would get you your association, it, pointer, thing arrow thing. Um, first is your key. So C out um, key is it arrow first comma association is it arrow thing second. And that's how you can get your both your sections. Also uh, for maps, if you want to insert both a key and association, you'd use the dot insert. Um, or another way you can do, and I like this way better, it's easier and it's not as confusing. Um, you can say map at the name of your key in square brackets equals your association. So, for example, map at lane equals uh, one two three four five six seven hope that helps if you have any questions just let me know I have been studying maps and sets and containers for hours so I know a lot about this uh, if you need anything else or any other video ideas let me know I'll be more than happy to help you out so have a good night guys